This is really close. I need some lip gloss. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do like a little chatty, like what's been going on, slash like a birthday haul. So, my birthday was last week and my husband and I took a week off work and went to Chicago. And it was really, really great. And it was like perfect timing. The weather in Chicago was fantastic. Winter has been rough in Minneapolis this year. Like it's been cold for a long time. And so it was just like much needed, like refreshing. It was sunny and it just felt so nice to be somewhere else for a week and like not to have responsibility, even though I love what I do and I love responsibility, sometimes it's just nice to not. So we were in Chicago, just had a ton of fun. People keep asking like what was the favorite thing that we saw or that we did and honestly what I just keep telling everyone is we didn't do anything like really touristy, we just ate a lot of food, drank a lot of coffee and did a ton of walking. So since we flew to Chicago, we didn't have a car. So our plan was to do public transportation while we were there, which worked out great. I loved using public transportation between the buses and like the trains. There was just so much opportunity with public transportation that even in Minneapolis, we've got pretty good public transportation, but it's nothing like Chicago. So it was so nice, like not having to worry about a car or like, even just getting around because you just be like, oh, we'll just walk or we'll hop on this bus and it was just really freeing. I kind of, I was thinking maybe it'd be fun to like touch on some of my favorite spots and then let me find my phone because I feel like I have pictures and then I can insert them or something. Let me find my phone. So while we were in Chicago, we stayed at a hotel in Old Town, which is kind of like north, it's still in downtown, but it's like north of the loop in downtown Chicago. Our hotel was called Hotel Lincoln, and it's like right on Lincoln Park, like the south side of the park, which is like right on the lake. And so it was really cool to be like so close to the lake to be able to like walk over and be at the beach. And so it was really fun and it was a really great place to stay. It was a pretty old building, but it had been like recently renovated and kind of remodeled. And so it was super fun, really cute. They called it a boutique hotel. I don't know what that necessarily classifies as, but it was really cute. So I'm probably just gonna insert some pictures. I I'm kind of bad at taking pictures on these kinds of like adventures. I like posting things to social media and so if you follow me on Instagram, I did post a lot of things to my story or to my actual Instagram feed while we were gone. I'm just gonna touch on a few places and if I have any sort of picture from that spot, I will put it in this video. But so I told you about the hotel. My favorite breakfast that we had was at this place called Somerset and it was in downtown and it was like a little like American club kind of a place. I don't know, it was like kind of fancy but in the morning because we went for breakfast it was pretty casual. We ate outside and it was like a beautiful day but that was my favorite breakfast. They had these potatoes which I have a picture of this. They had these potatoes that were like double baked slash like fried potatoes and they were like little mini potatoes but they were so good so crispy but like so warm and like soft on the inside it was delicious and the rest of the breakfast was great too and it was just such a cute location and like the inside decor was beautiful but not like over the top like fancy but just just enough that the aesthetic was beautiful. Where I chose to have my birthday dinner was at Glaze Teriyaki and it was in, what is that area called? Let me see if it pulls it up. Lakeview East? Lakeview East. That was actually kind of the area that we really enjoyed a lot. It was just a little bit north of where we were staying. Super like 
hip and kind of funky area, tons of restaurants and like some coffee shops, not a ton. And like really just like a cute area, lots of cute shops, but also it's a little commercial. But we really enjoyed that area, so that's where we had glazed teriyaki, which is delicious. I have a picture of that meal. It was my birthday dinner. Uh, I love chicken. <laughs> Like any kind of like Asian chicken dinner or like rice dish I'm all about. And so we had that for my birthday dinner. Also in that neighborhood is a restaurant called Crisp and it's like an Asian fried chicken place. That place is one of my faves. Highly recommended if you are ever in that area and you appreciate Asian food or chicken because it's delicious. <laughs> Another area of town that we really liked that had a lot of great coffee shops was, what's it called? Wicker Park. They had some of my favorite coffee shops in that area, which was Ipsento. There's two different Ipsentos in Chicago. There's like just one that's called Ipsento. We didn't go to that one. And then there's Ipsento 606, and that place is where we went, and it was delicious. They have beautiful coffee equipment, like, they have two espresso machines that are made by Slayer, which if you're familiar with coffee, Slayer is a very nice espresso machine and they're beautiful. And they had that and then they had a mod bar, which is like an espresso machine that comes out of the counter. So there's actually no like espresso box on the counter. It's just like these like spouts that come up and it's really cool. So they had that. It was just a really great location. They had these cute little donuts. They weren't great, but they were really cute and the coffee was really good. So that was a must for me. That was one of my favorite shops. And then also Wormhole is in that area as well. Wormhole is another coffee shop that is very eclectic and like fun. So there's, it's kind of like 80s themed. There's a DeLorean in the coffee shop, like up on like almost on the ceiling there's like a DeLorean like a car DeLorean that place is definitely like a must go I wouldn't say the coffee was like fantastic it wasn't bad by any means but it was real cool but I would say my favorite coffee from the entire trip was from a place called werewolf coffee a friend recommended it before we left for Chicago she said that it was really good I looked it up on Instagram and like Google and was a little not sure because they had like glitter lattes which are cute but typically I feel like places that have that fancy of lattes the coffee quality isn't hot like isn't up there and so I was a little nervous but we went anyways we were like super on the fence about going we ended up going and loved it we had two specialty drinks from there one was with coffee it was like a an espresso like mocktail. It had like a white peppercorn syrup and some mint and it was beautiful and it tasted delicious. Like I think it was my favorite drink out of the entire trip. It was so good. I loved it. And then we also had like a matcha latte type drink. That one didn't have coffee in it but it was really cute and delicious as well. It had this like blue magic syrup in the bottom which to my understanding, I think it's like a blue algae that they make a syrup out of. I don't really know. I could be speaking off about that. But it was delicious and so good, so cute. You walked into this place and like the espresso bar was in like this like food truck looking thing. But it wasn't an actual like working truck, but everything was like ripped out of it. So it was just kind of like the house of a food truck and then everything behind it was just like the bar of the coffee like the coffee bar so it was just so cool really great service super sweetie that was working uh, loved that place and then also another place that we really really liked was called heritage coffee and bikes I don't remember if I got any pictures of that place we went there on our last day that we were there yeah I didn't get any pictures there <laughs> it was super cute it was a bike shop as well as a coffee shop and it was kind of outside of downtown a little bit like it was a little bit of a trek to get there but highly recommend it and the coffee was really great as well and then I would say maybe my like favorite favorite trip thing favorite place we went in Chicago was Jenny's ice cream 
I love me some ice cream. Ice cream is delicious. It's like a food group to me. It's like my foods, my food groups are like food, coffee, and ice cream. And this ice cream was so good. We went twice. The first time we went, I got like a wild berry lavender ice cream and a brazzleberry what was it it was like a blueberry and like raspberry something crisp and it was delicious and then the second time we were there I got I think I got like a lemon oh yeah it was like a blueberry lemon yogurt super good and I don't remember it. oh a sweet cream really good delicious everything I tasted from there was so good and I believe it's kind of like a staple in Chicago. There's quite a few of them. And it was so cute and delicious. So yeah, those are some of my favorite picks. I hope you enjoyed them or it was like kind of cool. I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to share some of my favorite things with you guys. But it was also my birthday. So I have a, a little bit of like a birthday haul that I want to share with you because there's a lot of things I'm going to be trying soon. So I feel like my friends and family know me pretty well because I got a lot of like makeup and like skincare, body care stuff or I just got like money to go shopping with which was great. But uh, shopping actually wasn't a super successful thing in Chicago. One, I was kind of worried about bringing things back because I had, I just brought like a carry-on suitcase with me for the week, which, hey, that was pretty good packing. And so I was kind of nervous about getting too much stuff because I didn't want to have to worry about packing it. But I did get a few clothing items while we were gone and I kind of picked up a few cosmetic things or they were like gifted to me. So let's start with a few clothes things because I think that's fun. Um, I did pick up this shirt from that coffee shop I was talking about, the Heritage Coffee and Bikes. I just, like, I walked in and saw this shirt and just thought it was the most adorable shirt ever from a coffee shop. Coffee shops don't usually have, like, cute, super cute shirts like this. And so this one was a little bit big for me, but I, like, fell in love and needed it so bad. And I wore it the other day and I already am so in love. I also picked up this little like t-shirt dress. I just got this at Nordstrom Rack and so I feel like this wasn't really Chicago shopping but what you gonna do? But it's just like this t-shirt dress. It's got little pockets. It's white with like golden stripes. This like yellowy color has been like my color as of late. It started in fall when I thrifted a sweater that was like this golden color. You've probably seen me wear it because it was like my favorite and then over time I've been kind of like picking up more and more yellowy golden items. I never thought that yellow was like a good color for me. I like it a lot. <laughs> I got a pair of Vans while we were in Chicago. I love Vans. I've worn Vans for so long, probably like 15 years. I love them. Um, these are all black little lace up Vans. I've actually never had this pair. I've had a few other all black vans. These ones though are pretty cute. I got them on like super sale at this little like independent shop that was like really cute. They had some more like high end stuff or like some like skater kind of brands and it was just such a cute little store. I don't remember what it was called but I got those vans for like $35 or something or no I think it was 30 like, you, you can't find vans for that cheap. And so, I just knew it was meant to be, so I had to get them. I also got these all black sunnies at that store. They're like matte black. Thought they were so cute. I don't usually do black sunglasses because I feel like they're pretty harsh on my fair skin. But these, I just loved so much. They're like matte black and I love the shape of them. They're super cute. The last like clothing item I got, I actually, I got this in Minneapolis yesterday, but I'm counting it as like a birthday thing because I didn't spend all of my birthday money in Chicago. And I was looking for a pair of pants in Chicago literally like the whole time we were there. 
So I got a pair of Levi's. I have been wanting a pair of like rebuilt Levi's for a while, like something that looks like they're kind of vintage, like lived in, maybe like someone's done a little bit of work to them. And while we were in Chicago, I found a few pairs at Nordstrom Rack that were really cute, but they just didn't fit quite right. Like they weren't really my size, but they were still like $70. But I was kind of like, well, I've got birthday money. I'll be okay to buy them. Because if you buy them at Levi's, they're like over a hundred dollars. And then I did some thrifting, which there wasn't really a lot of thrift stores in Chicago. They were all kind of in the suburbs and I didn't feel like taking a bus out of Chicago for like an hour. I went to a few different crossroads, which I do enjoy, a good crossroads trip. That actually, I went in one, I went into a crossroads one night and got super excited because there was all these Levi jeans and they were all like half off so they were all like 10 to 12 dollars and I was like losing my mind like I was just grabbing all of them and like ran to the fitting room and tried them all on and none of them worked they were either like too big too baggy or like too tight like a weird length and so none of them worked out and so I was super bummed and every place we went I would try and stop in and like see if there was a pair of Levi's that were good and so I kind of just like gave up and was like well I'll just keep looking in Minneapolis at like thrift stores or something for some good Levi's and then yesterday I went to the Mall of America it was my day off and I was doing some Mother's Day shopping slash myself shopping and I found these pair of Levi's and I love them they're black and I like that the like Levi's thing like the stitching has been removed so you can just kind of like see the like etching of the stitching and then it's got the little Levi's tag of course and this is gone so I kind of like that like the little Levi's tag here is gone so they look really lived in. Yeah, they're a part of the, so the line is Levi's Altered, which that's like the really cool ones. And then I like the little, like the little divots on here, whatever these are called, I always forget, rivets or something. But they're like really like worn and I just love them. And they've got like this kind of funky hem going down the front that kind of like turns and there's like some paint splatters but not like overly done and like they're a little worn but not like holy and so I just I love them and I got them for twenty dollars I don't think I got them at Marshall's by the way I don't think Marshall's knew what they had because it says $19.99 compared at twenty six dollars which there's no way on earth these sell for twenty six dollars because on this little tag from Levi's the MSRP is 118. Marshalls, I love you. You did not know what you had. I got a water bottle. I've got water in here right now. This is from another coffee shop that we stopped at called Dollop. And they've got pretty good coffee, but this was like the cutest merch from a coffee shop. Like between the two coffee shop things that I caught. I'm so happy like I love coffee shop merch but sometimes it can be a little like too coffee-esque or like not really cute and so I loved both of these finds okay so let's jump into like some body care stuff in Chicago we stopped in a lush because why not like I always want to go to lush and so I got a new deodorant which this was just like I needed a new one and so I use this from Lush it's the governor and it's like a powder deodorant and this one has charcoal in it I've talked about this before I love this deodorant it's a little messy but it works fantastic and then I also picked up this rose lollipop lip balm I love this it's not like a tinted lip balm it's just like a moisturizing lip balm but it smells like rose and lemonade. Like it smells like rose lemonade. It smells so good. I love it. I keep it on my bedside table and I use it at night or I'll use it in the morning or something. But I love this. A few other things from Lush that I got for my birthday. Um, my friend Laura bought me this little set from Lush. It was like a 
I think it was called Rosie. It was like a boxed set and it came with all of this stuff. Uh, it has the Rose Jam shower gel, which I've never used this before and I fell incredibly in love. Like, it smells so good. Um, if you've never smelled this, it smells like roses and raspberry jam and vanilla. Like, it just smells so good. I'm addicted. I want this in my life forever. Unfortunately, Lush doesn't sell this shower gel on its own. I think they do at Christmas time, but not during the year, so you have to buy it in a set. And then it also came with this bubble rune. It's a shower gel, or it's a bath bomb but it kind of looks like a macaroon. I still have it in the package because I'm not going to use it quite yet. It's supposed to have the same scent as the Rose Jam Shower Gel. And then it also came with like these two little pots. This is the Dream Cream and it's a hand and body lotion. And then this is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner and I haven't used this yet. It's like a in shower lotion like if you've ever seen like the Nivea or the Jergens in shower lotions where you put them on in the shower and then like rinse them off I believe that's what this is supposed to be like um, I'm really looking forward to trying this but I'm kind of saving this one for more like special occasion type things if I want the rose scent to really last because that one does really smell like rose and then again when I was at the mall yesterday I just had to pick up this little guy. So this is the Rose Jam Body Spray. And this is a little travel size. They sell this in a kit, which I bought the Rose Jam Kit, which came with this, the Rose Jam, the Rose, and the Rose Argan Conditioner, Body Conditioner. And I sent the Rose Jam, the Body Conditioner, to my mom and my mother-in-law for Mother's Day and kept this for me because I'm so excited and I love this so much. Oh, I forgot what I got from my mom for my birthday. This was another thing I didn't show. This is a cute little purse my mom got me. It's like a over-the-shoulder bag or like crossbody bag but it's a little bit bigger. I only use crossbody purses. <laughs> like, I'm that person, I want my hands free so I can hold my coffee and do other things. This is really cute, it's bigger than any of the other ones I have, but it's like a really nice size. It's got a front pocket and a back pocket, and then it has like a main compartment. And so I love this, I think it's such a great size. I could like stick my iPad in here, my planner, my wallet, my phone but it's not going to be like really bulky because it's pretty like thin still and so it's just it's such a cute little bag. Thanks mom. And she also got me, this is my favorite, at Christmas we made this like facial moisturizer. My mom's been really into essential oils lately and so she made this one that has blue tansy, tea tree oil, capaiba, and frankincense oil in it. And it has literally been a game changer for my skin and I ran out a while back and I was really sad and so when she was like, what do you want for your birthday? I was like, more of that lotion, all of it please. And then she also got me this little doTERRA kit. It's their, she said it's their newest little kit. It's Harmony and it's got a few essential oils and like some little like mixing stuff. So it's really fun comes with a little booklet for like making different recipes. And then it has three oils. It's got green tangerine, pink pepper, right? Pink pepper and star anise. And so these are super like interesting scents and I've been really enjoying them in my diffuser. And then it comes with like two empty little roller bottles, which if you've ever used Deterra's roller balls, they're the best things ever. Like the quality of them are so good. And then it's got a few little like things in this little box to assemble some creations. So I'm excited to kind of look at those a little bit more. Oh, okay. All that's left is I went to Ulta yesterday and Sephora. So Sephora, I like picked up something for my mom for Mother's Day and I needed to get my birthday present. So I chose, or like my birthday free gift from Sephora. So I picked, they had like a skincare one which was like some glam glow mud masks or masks and like a tinted moisturizer or something. Or they had this Bite Beauty 
lip duo so I chose the Bite Beauty duo because makeup I mean I like skincare too but lipstick is really fun and I've never tried Bite Beauty so I was super interested in it uh, this little mini is the I think it's the Amuse Bouche yeah Amuse Bouche lipstick and it's in the shade Chai and it's just like this really nice it's definitely not like a sheer lipstick and it's not a matte lipstick so it's just like a regular lipstick and then this like lip pencil this is the I think this is a matte matte cream lip crayon and this is in the shade Glace Gloss Glacy it's kind of a similar shade like it's actually super similar but this one's matte but it's really pretty I tried them on last night and they're they're really nice I'm excited to use those a little bit more. And then finally I went to Ulta because that's like my favorite place pretty much ever. And so I picked up a few things that I needed. Well, I picked up one thing that I needed, a few things that I didn't, and then I got my birthday thing. So I got this mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. I've always used the Lash Princess False Lash Effect one which is in like the green instead of the pink and I love it but I feel like I've heard a lot about this one lately so I was interested to try this one it's got a really interesting brush on it and so I haven't tried this yet I'm kind of like waiting I just opened it but I'm kind of waiting until I go through my other mascara to use that and then I heard really good things about this lip lip tint it's so cute it's from Frank Body which is a new line that they just started carrying at Ulta. I've seen it maybe the last like month or so. They have like some body scrubs, they have a lip scrub, and then they have these little lip tints. This one is in the shade Send Nudes. And look at this little thing on here. It's a little, it's a little booty. It's so cute. Um, but I have this on my lips right now. I like just put it on and it's pretty sheer, but it just has a really nice like feeling to the lips. It gives a little bit of a tint, a little bit of shine, and I've been all about tinted lip balms for like the last year. I use the Burt's Bees tinted lip balm like every day of the week, and so I thought it'd be really good to change it up occasionally, one that's a little bit more nude. The Burt's Bees ones I use is a little bit more like orangey, peachy color, and this one's a very nude. And just kind of sheer and like glossy and so I was really interested in this there's definitely like a coffee scent to it which I don't mind but it's not my favorite scent ever Ulta recently started carrying ColourPop and they expanded their line like a week ago or so maybe two weeks ago I feel like I got an email saying that they're expanding their line that things are offering at Ulta but I still haven't really been to an Ulta that carries ColourPop and so I was a little sad and one of the Mall of America doesn't carry ColourPop either but I was in line and like waiting to check out and you know they have those like little stands that have all the travel stuff in them, the stuff that always gets ya and I saw out of the corner of my eye this palette which I've seen this on ColourPop's website, I've seen other people talk about this for a while and I've wanted this for a long time and so I was like yep doing it done bought it it's just like this super like neutral palette nothing super crazy but I just love all the shades in here I'm wearing this on my eyes today I mean it's like 8 o'clock at night so this is very faded at this point and so I'm really looking forward to using this more I think this would be a great travel palette and like a companion palette kind of because it's little mini but it also it's just got some really good colors in it and then maybe bring something a little bit more exciting along too but I love this and then the birthday gift for Ulta this year or at least for my month was the NARS um, blush in orgasm and I've never tried this NARS is not cruelty free but I just went with it and I've never tried this blush before I know this is like I raved about blush and so it's just like a pinky peach color I put it on I do have it on today pretty sheer again I put my makeup on like 14 hours ago so it's pretty faded at this point but um, I thought it was pretty cute so I'm kind of excited to have it yeah I think that's everything 
Oh, and so one of my favorite things about my birthday was I got home and like a few days after being back, I've, I mean, I had been at the coffee shops back at work and I was there one night just like meeting with someone really quick and the girl that was working was like, Kelsey, did you see there's something for you in the back? And I was like, oh, no, okay. She's like, something dro someone dropped something off for you. And I was like, okay. And so I grabbed it and the staff at Corner Coffee bought me a massage. Thanks guys, I'm so excited. That was so sweet, I love it. I'm so excited to use my massage. So that was my weird like chatty birthday haul Chicago adventure video. I'd been meaning to vlog sometime this week but it just never worked out. I still get like really embarrassed using a camera in public and so. So if you enjoyed this video, it was really long, but I just wanted to like be chatty and talk and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't. Would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.